So hello there, springtime, April 11th, sun shining outside, it's getting warm and you feel all the buds opening for flowers, whatever. So it's really starting to grow and today I've seen the first Samia Tsuntia uh, eclose from the cocoon that they built um, with a long security rope that you can see here. Um, this is the tree with all the cocoons and here in the back there is one of this beautiful and big Thomia Tsuntios. I try to take it away here so that you can see it and that we can see whether we can see a difference to Thomia Rizzini also. But this is the beautiful Thomia Tsuntio from uh, southern Europe uh, so it also happens to grow uh, on Tree of Heaven in the Ticino. So now we put this away and I try to show you a nice female of Samia Rizzini. I have one here so that we can see the difference in color also. Look, this is a very typical uh, to see. Yeah, come to my hand so that. Okay, okay. So, 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 okay. Yeah. Thomio Tintio is a brownie, more brownish yellow here. And Thomio Rizzini is more kind of dark brown. So this is beautifully made. Also this red uh, or shining through stripe here, this moon uh, shaped stripes. And more of color is pink here, as you can see. Now let's see whether we can also show it under this macroscopic lens a little bit better. The colors of Samia Tsuntio. They are two different species. So there's a lot of discussion going on uh, about that because uh, people uh, think um, from the government think that Samia Origini is an invasive species because they mix it up with uh, Samia Tsuntia because but they are two different uh, species as uh, Professor Piegler and Naumann showed in their revision of the genus Samia. Here we see a very big and beautiful I think this is a male here it is falcate uh, wings and a female of Samia Rizzini. What we can do we can try to produce a hybrid between them. That's possible to mate a male of one species with a female of the other species and produce hybrids. Of course they are not fertile then because they are different uh, species and because they are not fertile because they are different species it's a proof to show that they really are different uh, species. So what I can do I can not only make some nice pictures of this uh, Domio Cintio butterflies but later on I can put them together in a cage where they can mate and let's try and see uh, whether we can uh, make them produce offsprings hybrids between Somio Tintio and Somio Ricini. But that is a very clear here, the difference in coloring. It's a very nice and beautiful and big uh, cat uh, butterfly here. Yeah. And here's a female of Somio uh, Ricini. Also Somio Ricini can be sometimes big like this, but this is a real prominent size here, so that's how much is it? It's about 15 centimeters. That's the upper range of the size of Samia Cynthia. It happens to be in Europe since 1860 around and because there are some three of heavens also at that time in Europe imported from China, Ilontus, Altissimus, uh, they could uh, survive for the last 150 years when they first were introduced for producing silk 
uh, here in Europe after the populations of Bombyx mori, the mulberry silkworm, crashed because of the peperine disease. And um, they tried to uh, to save the silk industry with some other kinds of silk uh, mosses like uh, Somio tuntio or Somio rutini, but they failed because you cannot reel off the silk of these two species, but you have to spin it like cotton. So it was a quite different kind of industry, and the silk industry then vanished uh, around 1870. But still we find some of the remains of this uh, time in the form of this very beautiful and big Somio Tintio, also in Switzerland, in the Ticino, in the southern, most southern part of Switzerland, we find some on remaining um, trees of uh, heaven there, and in Italy also, they are in Spain, uh, they, they classified it an endangered species in Spain, and they put it under protection, and this is one of the things that uh, it are a lot discussed because how can you uh, put uh, invasive species uh, under protection law? But if you have a look at this beautiful butterfly, you know why. Also in Switzerland it would be probably good to say that it's a protected species even though it's here in Switzerland only since 1800. 60, but it still can live here, and the trees of heaven that we imported from China, they also live here, so why not accept also that some of these uh, trees or organisms come from everywhere around the world because people imported it, and we have to, uh, so I think we have to deal with it, but uh, the other uh, thing to eradicate them and to send them back to where they come from that's probably not a technique that is good and it's not strong enough against the power of nature uh, they want to stay where they can live and as you see without the help of the humans Somio Tintio could survive but Somio Ricini couldn't why? because Somio Ricini is a completely domesticated species that is n found nowhere in wild population while Tintia coat could survive in the wild on her own. Beautiful, nice butterfly. And a relic of an ancient story about silk production in Europe. So if you want to know what's happening, if we succeed uh, making hybrids with them, stay tuned here in the Sky Food channel. We come back every time we have something new to tell you. Thanks for watching.